Really? Holy shnikes. <laughs> a few inches and a thin piece of glass. That is all that stood between this bear and a Minnesotan behind the wheel. This happened yesterday during a drive north of Bemidji near Lower Red Lake. Driver spoke with our Kirsten Mitchell about the unplanned pit stop. How's it going? An unexpected jaywalker stopped Alexander Amon in his tracks. You don't even care, huh? After getting a whiff of the trash in his trunk, it took a closer look. Holy shnikes. No, thank you. The heart pounding moment happened in Redby, north of Bemidji, on Sunday. The snout of the bear and my snout was probably about eight inches away from each other, just separated by a little piece of glass. Alexander's captured wildlife before, but never like this. Because as soon as it stood up was when my adrenaline pumped and I had to like kind of decide what was going to be my next move. He drove off with an experience he'll never forget. He climbed up this tree right here. Maple Grove neighbors also have a tale to tell. A mom and three cubs strolled right through Benny Lego's backyard this weekend, stealing a bird feeder along the way. I had heard that they were out here, but I had never seen any of them. Researchers say female bears in Minnesota have a home range of about eight square miles, so it's not unheard of for bears living in nearby Elm Creek Park Reserve to come out into these Maple Grove neighborhoods, especially if there's food. Since the 1980s, Minnesota's bear population has expanded further south and west. The reasons for that are generally just two. One is there's available territories, and the other thing is uh, social tolerance. The DNR helped launch a new bearwise campaign this year. The basics never feed our approach, remove food sources like garbage, bird feeders, pet food, and outdoor grills, and keep your neighbors in the loop. They are big wild animals, and like all wild animals, you need to give them the respect and the space so we can coexist. Wow. Here's to Mitchell, WCCO News. Now, brown bears don't live in Minnesota. However, black bears can be brown in color, like the one in that video from northern Minnesota. Give them space. Yeah, give them space. Wow.